सदाशिव सरंभा शंकराचार्य मध्यमा अस्मदाचार्यपर्यता वंदे गुरुपरंपरा ओ सहना सहनौ गुन सह वीर करवाह तेजस्वीनावधीतमस्तु मिद्षा वह बुद्धिर्द्रव्यत्तु बुद्धिर्द्रव्यत्तु निर्मल अपारम सर्वेदात वेद्यम प्रत्यक्पर तदेवाहम न मोन्यदिति मे निश्चिता मति So we are talking about Jiva, Brahma, Ekya. The oneness between Jiva, the individual, Brahma, we can translate as Ishvara. So Jiva Ishvara Ekya topic is being discussed. Shishya, the disciple, has presented his doubt regarding this oneness. and two types of doubts are presented one is called prameya samshaya where he is thinking that oneness between jiva and ishvara is logically not possible because their nature is different jiva's nature is different ishvara's nature is different so how they can have oneness swarupa bhedat tayo ho ekyam asangatam any shishya said i am a karta i am a bhokta then i have got ignorance i have got jignasa and i am all the time seeing samsara whereas ishvara is free from all samsara ishvara is free from kartrutva bhoktrutva ishvara bhagwan keeps saying kartaram api akartaram mam vidhi i cannot say If I tell people will slap, no. you know. If I do something wrong, and if I say, even though you think I did, but I really I did not do. Kartaram api akartaram vidhi. Suppose I say that one more they will give. So I cannot claim. So me and Ishvara are different. Me and Brahman are different. That is one. That is prameya gata samshya, where this asambhavana. the impossibility between the impossibility of oneness between jiva and ishvara was presented the other one is pramanagata samshaya and the pramanagata samshaya means the doubt based on the presentation of shruti pramana presentation by shruti pramana and this pramanagata samshaya was presented in two two ways one is direct shruti Shruti directly tells that Jiva and Ishvara are like two birds. So if she something it was told that there is only one bird, sometime good, sometime not good. Perhaps you would have managed, but directly Dwa Superna Sayuja Sakhayo, and Dwa word also is used. Otherwise, the Chandasam, the Devacharam Chandasam, somehow we will manage, but words are so used. and their nature also is presented to be different so shruti herself is presenting bheda difference between jiva and brahman or jiva and ishvara how can we accept oneness between them shruti is a pramanam and pramana bhuta shruti itself is telling they are different then in english they say this the kettle cannot be hotter than tea the tea is there in the kettle so kettle cannot be hotter than the tea so you cannot be more than what shruti says so if you try to say no no jiva brahma ekyam who says i am saying but shruti what shruti says 
Shruti is the basis for you to make a statement about the nature of Jiva and Brahma. And therefore, you cannot, you know, uh, transgress what Shruti says. You cannot <coughs> go beyond what Shruti says. So, Shruti directly just tells Vedaha. So, that is one. One type of Pramanagata Samshaya. Means, Pratyaksha Shruti Virodha. Second is what? Indirectly, Shruti is supporting this Bheda. How? Shruti is prescribing karma and upasana. And karma and upasana will be possible when Adhikari Jiva is there and karma faladata Ishvara is there, Upasya Ishvara is there. So, the very presentation of karma and upasana is the basis, indirect basis for the support to this division, difference between Jiva and Ishvara. And he says, what do you mean by, Purupakshi or Shishya said, what do we mean by this Aikam between Jiva and Brahma? Is Brahman merged into Jiva? Means only Jiva, Jiva is there. There is no Brahman. Or this Jiva is merged into Brahman. If Jiva is merged into Brahman and this Jiva is not there, Brahman alone is there, then Karta is not there, Adhikari is not there, therefore Karma cannot be there, therefore Karma Vidhanam will be useless. If Jiva is merged into Brahman, means there is no Jiva, Jiva Brahma Aikyam is the message of Shruti and Jiva Brahma Aikyam is Jiva is not there, Brahman is there. So if Jiva is not there, then who will do karma? You cannot say Brahman will do because Brahman is supposed to be Akarta Abhokta. Therefore, Jiva is not there. And so, and Brahman alone is there. And Jiva alone can do karma. So sometimes it happens, no? Kaam karne wale log chale jate. Jo nahi karte ho better rite. So sometimes the people who are working, they are not there. People are there. But working people are not there. Therefore, what? Work will not happen. So similarly, working Jiva is not there. Now you have merged into Brahman. And non-working Brahman is there. So some people, <laughs> they can simply sit. They cannot do anything. So non-working Brahman is there. And therefore, what? This karma cannot happen. And if you say that Brahman is merged into Jiva, then who will be Upasya? If Brahman is merged into Jiva, means Brahman is not there, only Jiva, Jiva is there. No Ishvara at all. So it looks fine, no, that no Ishvara, Jiva can do whatever they want. So, but the Upasana will not be prescribed. And moreover, Karma Pala Data will not be there. Karma, karma will be done by Jiva, but result will not happen. It's like you work, but no salary. So Jivas will do all rituals. But karma phala data, Ishvara being not there, therefore phalam will not come. And therefore, why jiva will do anushthanam? That, that what is called contradiction will happen. And therefore, karma upasana prescription by the Shastra will be meaningless. Here, Mimamsaka comes into the picture and they say, we don't require Ishvara. Karma has the potential of giving the result. So when you put a, a pan on the on the gas, on the what is called fire, then water will boil. Do you pray, oh Lord, please make this water boil? You don't do Ishvara. You are doing one karma. Karma of putting this water pan on this fire. So karma has got the potential of giving the result. Inbuilt. So it will do it. Therefore, it says, Karmati Riktaha Ishvara Nasti. There is no Ishvara required other than Karma. Swatantram Karma Eva Phalam Dadati. This is Mimam Sakabhyus. Swatantram means what? Without any conscious being, Karma itself will give the result. Iti Mimam Sakoptihi. So, Mimam Saka try to bypass Ishvara. Mimam Saka is a very peculiar people. They believe in Vedas. Therefore, technically we call them astikas. They are astika. Because for us, definition of astika is Vedaha Pramanam Asti Iti Yah Brute Sa Astika. 
So one who says Veda is a Pramana is Astika. Whether you believe in Ishvara or not, discount. But you believe in Vedas or not. If you believe in Vedas, then you are Astika. Whether you believe in Ishvara or not. So there are some who believe in Ishvara. Like Christianity, other religion, they believe in Ishvara, but they don't believe in Vedas. So according to us, by this definition, they are Nastikas. Generally, people think that Astika means believers in God. But that is not our definition. Those who accept Veda as a Pramanam, they are called Astikas. So, Mimamsaka are Astika. And they are very much committed to rituals. And in ritual, Devatas also they accept. But they don't accept Ishvara. So, we may wonder if Devata they don't accept, how can they accept Ishvara? For them, Devatas are Shabdatpakas. Like your software is there, no? So, software is not like Ishvara. So, software. Similarly, Devatas are like the Shabdatpaka. So, you chant the mantras, that means you are, you are creating Devatas. You are creating the presence of Devatas. And those Devatas will give the result. Or these, these Devatas which are included in the karma will give the result. You don't require Ishvara. This discussion is there in the Brahma Sutra as I told yesterday. And that yukti na yujyate is not proper. Why? Jadatvat karmana. Karma by itself is inert. An inert thing cannot give the result completely. It can be a part. It can be a contributing factor. But itself cannot decide the result. Because this karma is giving the result not based on only physical things. There is so much consideration of the feeling of the person. Bhavana of the person. How will it be known by jada karma? Because the Shastra it says, Shraddhaya Krutam, that alone will give the result. Ashraddhaya Krutam, then Hutam, etc. Natat Pretya Naiha. It cannot give the result afterwards, it cannot give the result here. So, all those considerations, how will it be known by karma? Karma can know, cannot know the intention of the person. And there are so many factors of the past also are considered where the person is doing karma. And all these are not, all of these are not possible for jada karma. Jada karma, inert action, cannot have all these considerations. Otherwise, we will not require judge. We have got the constitution, we have got law books. We put all software only. And uh, thus, they will give justice. One AI we can put there. So, we feed, feed the data, this person has done this. These are the evidence. Then justice will come. So far it not happened and should not happen also. Because many times AI can go wrong. And therefore, this jada karma, karma being jada, cannot be the faladata. In many people think something is inbuilt. It is not inbuilt. Is it? Karma is a contributor. Based on karma, the result is given by Ishvara Chetana. Nahi jadasya karmana faladatrutparupa samarthyam gatate. The capacity of giving the result is not possible. Na gatate means not possible for jada karma. Therefore, in Upadesha Saram, Karturagdaya, Prapyate Palam, Karma Kim Param, Karma Tad Jadam. There also a Jadam is there. Ataha, therefore, therefore means what? Jadasya Karmana, Faladatrutva Samarthya Sambhavat. That is the meaning of Ataha. Therefore, Sarvajna Deva Ishwarat. From Ishwara alone. Who is, is Sarvajna? Hetu Garbha Visheshana. Because who is Sarvagda alone can give the result. See, in getting the result, so many factors are involved. When a child is born, so child is born because of his Punya Papa to particular parents. But while this Jiva who has, who has come in the form of a child, he is exhausting his Punya Papa along with the parents are also exhausting. Neighbors also will get, get sweet on that day. They are also exhausting. 
nurse also will get will exhaust it. She will get some gift. So imagine one situation he is giving the result to so many people. Some people will get uh, scolding also. Something happened that day because of birth of child, the scolding. And uh, there was a holiday in the school. Something, whatever, so many things. Imagine one birth of child will have so many repercussions. So many people will be exhausting their Punya and Papa that day. But that lady, yes, yeah, she is a teacher or principal. So, thoda school mein holiday declare kar diya. <laughs> Imagine so many things. And the, that is possible when Sarvagda Ishwara is there. Really, even more we think about this, we will understand that how much intricacy is there in giving this result. This class is going on, so many people's punya is exhausted, so many people's papa also is exhausted. <laughs> Suppose you don't understand. You have to sit because you don't feel like getting up. So still you feel so bored, 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 and that is your papa is getting exhausted. Both. So that's how. So, and Vaktas Punya Papa both, generally. <laughs> because if he has to see some faces like that, and uh, he doesn't feel like talking, still he has to talk. So, some Papa is <laughs> getting existed. <laughs> really, it's a very, very intricate network. Therefore, Sarvagna Deva Ishwarat, Karma Phala Siddhi Vachya. The accomplishment of the result of karma should be told only from the Ishwara who is Sarvagna. Sarvagna here means Sarvavit, one who knows all the details of the karma. See, even when we are running a small organization, still sometimes we feel that some people are working hard, they are not rewarded. And some people are not doing so much till they get full salary. All these things happen. <laughs> really? <laughs> we are not able to do. So what? We have to divine justice, we have to trust. <laughs> Anyway, so more you think how things happen, Sarvagna Deva Ishwarat Karma Phala Siddhi Vachya. Tasmat Jeevatma Paramatmanoho Ekatvam Na Yujyate. Tasmat means, therefore, therefore means what? The Shrutehe Bhede Tatparyat. So from the direct Shruti and the Karma Kanda, which is indirectly presenting Bheda, because of that, Shrutehe Bhede Tatpariyat Jeeva Paramatmanoho or Shrutya Bhedasya Pratyakshataha Parokshataha Nirupanat Jeeva Paramatmanoho Ekatvam Na Yujyate The oneness between Jeeva and Ishvara is not possible. In Keno Upadishad Vakya Bhashya, this discussion is there. That how Ishvara is required. In the third chapter, where you know Ishvara. Brahman comes in the form of a yaksha. So then, Ishwara presentation is there. <clears throat> Bhakya Bhashya is, is known for that particular portion. Okay. Ayancha Pramanagata Samshayaha. And this is Pramanagata Samshaya. Alright. So, Shishya has presented his doubt very well. And then, he must have said, I rest my arguments, O oh Lord. And then he, <laughs> in language of law, they say like this, I rest my arguments. Abhi samapta karta hum. So then, Guruji now starts. You know. <laughs> Guru ho jata hai shuru. So <laughs> Shishya stops. And now, Guru shuru ho jata hai. Jalo ho jata hai. Means start speaking. Okay. And... <laughs> Swarupa Bhedat Jeeva Brahmanoho Ekya Sangati Hi. Sorry, Ekyas Ekya Sangati Hi. Iti Shankaya Samadhana. Samadhana means answer to the doubt. What is the doubt? Swarupa Bhedat. Because of the difference of, in the nature of Jeeva and Brahma, Ekya, the oneness between the two, is Asangati. Asangati means impossible. The, the, there is impossibility of oneness between Jiva and Brahma because of their because of the difference in their nature. This type of doubt which was presented, iti shankayaha, of this doubt, samadhanam, the answer is given. Achha. And 
here answer is given in two stages because question was in two stages one answer is given for prameya gata samshaya the other answer is given for pramana gata samshaya the prameya gata samshaya i is answered first one one 72 to uh, 185 that is prameya gata sankhaya samadhan and from 186 to 188 pramana gata samshaya samadhan that is the going to be the particular structure of the answer okay now what was the doubt of this pro, uh, this shishya regarding this in the form of prameya samshaya that swarupa of jiva and ishvara being different they cannot be one jiva swarupa is one karta bhokta ishvara swarupa is akarta abhokta and since their swarupa is different they a cannot be one entity swarupa bhedat swarupi bhedaha swarupi bhedaha swarupa masti asya sa swarupi swarupa bhedat swarupi bheda means when the nature of the two things is different then those two entities should be different that particular <clears throat> argument is answered by saying the uh, one sentence answer is this that really speaking on analysis we find that the nature of jiva and ishvara is not different and therefore there is no difference in jiva and ishvara therefore there is oneness between jiva and ishvara so our answer will be swarupa ekyat jiva brahmano ho swarupa ekyat jiva brahmano ho ekyat jiva and ishvara are one because the nature of jiva and ishvara is one that is going to be the answer and for that granthakara is presenting a particular method there are so many methods to present this subject matter that how their nature is essentially one is presented in different different ways sometimes we use the method of jahada jahal lakshana and here is a, a different method is used here the method used is called chit chatur vidya prakriya chit chatur vidya prakriya the method of showing four types of consciousness based on the example of chaturvidya akasha chaturvidya akasha drashtanta with the help of the example of four types of akasha the four types of consciousness are presented and then finally oneness between jiva and ishvara is arrived that is going to be the development here so we require lot of patience we will say when oneness will come when will oneness come will come slowly it will come okay akashasya eva chaitanyasya api chaturvidah bhedah akashasya eva means like that of space chaitanyasya api even of consciousness chaturvidah bhedah there is four four types of division or there is four types are ah, four types or four types of division so consciousness has got four types of division and just as akasha has got four types of division and here if we put this prakriya in a very simple manner he is going to have little bit more involved he is going to have masala dosa he is a simple if you put in a simple manner simple is this he is going to present four types of consciousness out of them two are tvam padartha and two are tat padartha means two are related to jiva two are related to ishvara and in that two which are related to jiva one is bimba chaitanyam 
means the original consciousness and the other one will be pratibimba chaitanyam so jiva tvam padartha is consisting of the pratibimba chaitanyam reflected consciousness and bimba chaitanyam original consciousness one is rc another is oc so that's what one swami ji presents in that language rc oc but only thing is oc you should remember original otherwise oc means generally those who are work in government oc means office copy <laughs> office copy is they call it so office copy i don't know why they said but copy office copy rc means rough copy i am telling i am. <laughs> so it is not like that so here bimba chaitanyam pratibimba chaitanyam at vyasti level so out of four two are at vyasti level two are at samasti level vyasti means individual samasti means total so two types of consciousness which are at the vyasti level out of these two one is the reflected consciousness other is original consciousness so individual reflected consciousness individual original consciousness both of them put together become jiva individual original consciousness individual reflected consciousness they constitute jiva and similarly at macro level but this was micro now macro level also original consciousness and reflected consciousness this is only for prakriya don't think there are really four consciousness this is only like you know the rice you know when we, they are served rice in south india some people do it this is for sambar rice this is for rasam this is for curd, curd rice they take ah huh? like that they separate separate they put you, you, know, you have seen that ha huh? some people do like that so he, he, this much is to eat with sambar this much is for rasam this is for this no this curd rice curd they do it so each rice is one only just imaginary bheda so don't think that really four types of consciousness is there because some people will swami ji i thought you are advaiti that you are you are telling not vaiti also you are chaturvedi <laughs> i don't know what to call you <laughs> so you are chaturvadi so that is not that so i am just telling it is just for prakriya all right so two consciousness one individual reflected consciousness individual original consciousness together is jiva and one samashti original consciousness total or macro original consciousness and macro reflected consciousness both of them put together is ishvara so what is ishvara original the total original consciousness and total reflected consciousness all right so these two uh, one side there is a, a individual reflected and original consciousness other side is total original and reflected consciousness now at the level of reflected consciousness the reflected consciousness dimension of jiva and reflected consciousness aspect of ishvara is different they are different means when you are looking upon jiva from the standpoint of this individual reflected consciousness and ishvara you are looking upon from the standpoint of total reflected consciousness then both of them are different why they are different because reflecting medium is different for jiva reflecting medium is antakaranam or sometimes he called avidya whereas ishwaras for ishwara the reflecting medium is maya badi maya hai uske paas he has very big maya and therefore reflecting media being different 
reflected consciousness at individual level and at the total level also are different. So reflected consciousness aspect of Jiva and reflected consciousness aspect of Ishvara are different. But the original consciousness aspect of Jiva and original consciousness aspect of Ishvara, there is no difference whatsoever. Because original consciousness does not have dimension. So dimensional, dimensionless original consciousness aspect of Jiva and dimensionless original consciousness of Ishvara, both of them are one. Why? Right? Because both of them are dimensionless. This reflected consciousness in the case of Jiva and Ishvara will be different because media are different. Here medium is not there coming into the picture when you talk about original. And therefore what is the message given is from the standpoint of reflected consciousness or other way we put from the standpoint of reflecting medium, Jiva and Ishvara are different. Both ways we can present. From the standpoint of the reflecting medium or from the standpoint of reflected consciousness, Jiva and Ishvara are different. But from the standpoint of original consciousness, Jiva and Ishvara are one. Then somebody may say, does it mean Swabiji, Jiva and Ishvara are one also and uh, they are different also. Then you are a Bheda Bhedavadi. Bheda Bhedavadi means what? He said that duality also is real, difference is also real, non-difference also is real. Pujarati Pikta, Thoda Katta, Thoda Bitta. So, do we mean to say that? Somebody will ask. We said no. We say that the difference is there at the level of reflect, reflected consciousness or reflecting media and that reflecting media are mithya, unreal. And therefore, that reflection also is unreal. And therefore, reflection based division also is unreal. Therefore, the difference between Jiva and Ishvara is what? Unreal. So, if somebody asks, is there a difference between Jiva and Ishvara? You can say yes, but you put a note, but it is unreal. Unreal difference is that. So, between Jiva and Ishvara, unreal difference is there. Real difference is not there. And accepting unreal difference, we worship the Lord. So, wise person, will he worship the Lord or not? He worships. Accepting this unreal difference provisionally. He accepts, he worships. Knowing fully well, I alone am there. Like in a monoacting, you know. Monoacting, you know monoacting? Monoacting, you know, what is monoacting? One actor alone will be playing all the roles. It must be there. In Japan it is there. Mono acting means one person will be playing the role of a Devi and playing the role of a Rakshasa also. So she will do like this and again she will do like this. The Rakshasa is being killed. Ah, I will be doing. Ah, I will be doing. One and the same person does. So, similarly the wise person has this vision that I am there as a Poojaka I am there as a Pooja also. So, when one is a Poojaka Upadi, therefore I am called Poojaka. Poojaka means worshipper. And elsewhere, other place, the Pooja Upadi, worshipable Upadi. Therefore, it is called worship. Therefore, it is worshipped. I am the truth behind the Poojaka, worshipper and worshipped. This is vision. But playing the role, he will play it well. So now I am identifying with this, this Pujaka Upadi, Worshipper Upadi. So worship. 
hell, I am worshipped. I alone am worshipped. Thus, the essential teaching is from the standpoint of upadi and upadi based reflection, there is a difference between Jiva and Ishvara, which is Mithya. And from the standpoint of this original consciousness, Bimba Chaitanyam, what really Jiva is, what really Ishvara is, from that standpoint, Jiva and Ishvara are one. In other words, what really Jiva is and what really Ishvara is, is one. What Jiva appears to be and what Ishvara appears to be, they are different. But essentially, really, they are one. Apparently, transaction-wise, they are different. That is the message given by this Patriya. But this I put it in a simple manner. So if this also simple, then what is complicated? <laughs> you will understand what is complicated. <laughs> okay. Alright. So I want you to have the first overall idea. So that, you know, in case you miss the details, you know, you know the original Amaratma. So what is the main message? Upadi Drishtya Jiveshwara Yoho Bhedaha Swarupa Drishtya Abhedaha means from the standpoint of the reflecting medium and reflected consciousness, there is a difference between Jiva and Ishvara. But from the standpoint of their original nature, what really Jiva and Ishvara are, they are one. This is the basic message. So this you hold on to. In between, Toda is, is going to make it very, very involved. I don't say complicated because you will run away. So I said involved. It's a nice word. You know, <laughs> Intricate. We use some different words, you know. Same thing, uh, it's a complicated only <laughs> sugar coated word. Okay. But he, when, when you try to understand, when it will be explained, you will understand. I am sure you will understand. So don't will go, Swami, today or tomorrow I will not come for the class. So don't say that. Okay. Hey, Somya. See, therefore, Guruji starts very nicely. Hey, Somya. Oh, my dear one. So, he, you know, he makes the Shishya feel good about oneself. This is a very important thing. When you take care of being, then doing will be taken care of. You make the person feel good about oneself. Then he will do good things, right things. Suppose I say, I am sure you will not understand at all. And I tell you, because of that also you will not understand. <laughs> but I say, yeah, it, will be, it is little involved, but all of you can understand. Then possibility of your understanding is much higher. If you feel that, yes, I will be able to understand, yeah, then you will more likely, you, are, you will understand. So, therefore, he starts very nicely. Hey, Sobhya, oh, good looking one. So, not like confused one. <laughs> oh, confused, oh, mudha. Bajagovindam that mudha only, mudha mate. So, here, no, hey, Sobhya, oh, good looking one. So, oh, good looking one, get the next day, make up per kaya. <laughs> okay, Tvat Sandeha Nivartaka Vichara Rupam Upadesham Shrunu. May you listen to Upadesham, the teaching. What type of teaching? Vichara Rupam, the teaching in the form of inquiry. And what type of inquiry? Nivartaka, remover. The inquiry which is remover means which is going to remove. What? Tvat Sandeha, your doubts. Shrunu, may you listen to the teaching which is in the form of inquiry which will remove your doubts. So you have doubts, you want to be free from doubts, so may you listen to this teaching very carefully. Acha, what is now the teaching? He starts with the example. Yatha ekasya eva akashasya katakashaha jalakashaha meghakashaha Mahakashaha iti chatur vidha bhedaha asti tatha ekasya eva chaitanyasya kutastaha jivaha ishvaraha brahma chaiti bheda chatushtaya masti. So this description is given based on the Chitra Deepa Prakranam of Panchadashi, sixth chapter of Panchadashi. So there also these four types of akasha. 
So we thought only one Akasha is there, only four Akashas. Okay. How? Yatha, just as Ekaseva Akashasya, of one space alone. Chatur Vidaha Bhedaha, Chatur Vida Bhedaha, four types. Just as there is a four types of division of Akasha, space. What are there? What are those four types of Akasha? Ghatta Akasha, pot space, Jala Akasha, water space, Megha Akasha, cloud space, Maha Akasha, total space. Four types of spaces are there. We have to use plural spaces are there. A space of four types. We can say singular. So that the four, uh, there is a space of four types. Okay. Tatha. This is Drashtanta. And if somebody, what is Gatakasha and all? I did not explain. Radhakara is going to explain. So he will explain what is pot space, etc. Okay. Tatha. Similarly, Ekasyeva Chaitanyasya of one consciousness alone. Bheda Chatushtayam four types are there or this four division is there. What? Kutasthaha. Kutasthaha literally means changeless. Kutavat tishthati iti kutasthaha. Kuta means that anvil. You know where they, the uh, shoemaker he uses you know that particular anvil so just to or even a blacksmith he will use for uh, repairing things. That is called Kuta. And Kuta Vatishthati. So when this, the blacksmith he is uh, making some nail or etc. That time he will be using some uh, small wire or small rod and he will be heating that rod underneath this anvil. This anvil doesn't change. That, uh, that wire etc. changes the shape. But anvil does not change. That is called Kuta. So, Kutavat Tishthati, one who remains like anvil, that is called Kutastha, means changeless. So, first Chaitanyam is what? Changeless consciousness. All right. It is a technical word. All are really changeless only. But uh, this is a technical name, Kutastha. We will understand what it is. Jivaha, Jivaha means this individual, individual conscious being. Jiva, all of you know. Okay. Jiva, what you consider yourself to be, that is Jiva. Individual. Individual consciousness. Then, Ishwaraha, the Lord. Brahma, attributeless, limitless consciousness. Brahma. It is in this manner, Bheda Chatushtayam, a group of four divisions of consciousness is there. Okay. Now this is just introduction. So it's, and he shows the importance of the, the significance of understanding this topic. He says, Esham Swarupam Vichara Purvakam Yada Samyak Vijanasi Yada When Esham Swarupam The nature of these four Akasha and four Chaitanyam So Esham means Ashtanam in the nature of all these eight, vichara purvakam with analysis, samyak vijanasi, when you know very well. So, when you will understand very well the nature of these four akasha, four types of akasha and four types of chaitanyam very well, vichara purvakam with this analysis, tada, then, tvadiya sandehanam samadhanam Tvam Swayameva Janiyaha. Then, Tvam Swayameva Janiyaha. You yourself will understand. Samadhanam. Samadhanam is the answer. Tvam Swamadhanam Swayameva Janiyaha. You yourself automatically would understand the answer to what? Tvadiya Sandehanam. The, your doubts. Tvadiya means your. Sandhya means Sandhya means doubts. When you understand these four types of Akasha and four types of Chaitanyam very well, then all your doubts will be resolved. You will know the answer to all your doubts. I don't have to give you. You will understand. Ataha. Therefore, since this analysis is going to help you 
to remove your doubts therefore tesham swarupam maya abhidhiyamanam avadharaya avadhara means well ascertain may you well ascertain the nature of all of them tesham ashtanam chaturvida akashanam and chaturvida chaitanyanam swarupam maya abhidhiyamanam which is being told by me means which is going to be told by me avadharaya may you well ascertain tad adhigamena tava nishaya samshaya gnanodaya dwara janmadi dukham nishesham vinashyet and the acharya is connecting with the parama purushartha otherwise sishya may say swami ji i have got so many doubts if these two doubts are not resolved how does it matter let them be there no 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 tad adhigamena by the knowledge of this nature of all of them tava nishaya sam nissamshaya gnano dvaya dwara janmadi dukham nishesham vinashyet your janmadi dukham the dukham associated with the janma marana vyadi jara adipada and all this so your dukha associated with the janma etc nishesham completely vinashyet would be destroyed would be removed so by understanding this subject matter your dukha will be completely removed how nano daya dwara by the way of the rise of knowledge which is nissamshaya and nissamsa nissamshaya that doubt, the knowledge which is free from doubts so this understanding of these four types of chaitanyam four types of akasha will lead you to doubtless knowledge and doubtless knowledge will remove all dukha means you will attain moksha so that is guru is motivating the shishya to understand this subject matter well okay now with this introduction to the topic now he goes into the details and now we will explain first four types of akasha acha first is what chaturvida akasha varnanam the description of four types of akasha first one is what ghata akasha pot space and what is the meaning of pot space he says generally we have got idea we say pot space means you know the space within this pot we can pot space that's what we generally understand he said no that's not correct do you understand shunu जल पूरी घटावस्थानायुपाइडी not the pot the space inside the pot what we are saying space occupied by this pot ghata avachinna akasha what is the difference between what we were thinking and what we are saying now the difference is the thickness of the pot when we say the space inside the pot is pot space then the thickness of the pot will not be covered the space <coughs> occupied by the thickness of the pot the pot walls will not be covered whereas what we are saying now pot space is equal to the space occupied by the pot in which the wall of the pot also will be included the space occupied by the wall of the pot also included all right so pot space means घटाव चिन्ह आकाश द स्पेस सर्कम स्क्रैब्ड बै कंडीशन बै ऑक्युपाइड बै पॉट इज कॉल पॉट स्पेस सो दट इज सैड बट इी ड पुट इन दैट लैंग्वेज इज बी विचार सागर कार विचार सागर विचार सागर कार का विचार सागर कार पुटिंग इन स्लैटली डिफरेंट मेरे बट वेरी टेक्निकल वे इज पुटिंग वट इज सेट जलपुरीत घटावस्थान मोर ओवर ही हेज टू से दट पॉट हेज टू हेव वाटर ऑल्सो बिकॉज वाटर इज रिक्वायर्ड बिकॉज ऑल द वे यू वॉन्ट टू दिस एग्जाम्पल 
therefore right now for ghatakasha it may not be important important but afterwards the water has to do some job therefore he say pehle se bhar ke rakhte from the beginning itself we are filling up water and keeping so nahi to the second example ke liye bahar jana padega you have to go out so he say jala puri tar ghata so people are very systematic methodical no when they sit for puja they keep everything ready there are some uh, this uh, lousy fellows so they even now and they get up bhagwan say where my pujari went he bole match box oh bole ye to bhul gaya oh karpur to hai nahi to thoda phone karke bolte hai so sab there all these things happen so he is systematically is doing so jala purita ghatavasthanaya for the staying remaining accommodation of ghata pot which is purita filled jala with water for avasthanam staying remaining of a pot filled with water yavan akashah akasha of whatever measure avakasham dadati gives avakasha accommodation tavan akashah that was space ghatakashah is ghatakasha is pot space iti in this manner panditehi by scholars uchyate that was space is called ghatakasha acha what is this i give the translation what is the meaning idea conveyed idea is this this pot has to remain in space so for pot to remain pot to exist it requires some space it requires some accommodation for accommodation everybody accommodation request you have to put no so this pot will put accommodation request to to akasha avakash pradatru akasha that is the definition of akasha we what is akasha that which gives accommodation is akasha so now pot puts a request to akasha accommodation request <laughs> and then akasha however much to whatever extent it gives akasha from itself for the pot to exist for the pot to remain to stay that was space is called ghatakasha so out of itself the space is giving to pot to stay in itself that is called ghatakasha so however much space the space gives to the pot to remain in space that was space is called ghatakasha okay so accommodation request by this pot and out of itself space gives some space means itself and how much space it gives for pot to remain aisa aisa nahi karna hai thoda aaram se rehne ke liye how because pot cannot shrink itself so, so bola aaram se rehne ke liye zyada bhi nahi not extra also so how much space space will give to the pot to remain in space that much space is called ghatakasha this is a, this is a panditai pandit logo ke language jaisi hai that's why you use the word panditai ordinary people what to explain ordinary people what however much space required for pot to be in space he is called pot space or however much space occupied by the pot he is called pot space Okay, along with its wall. So, along with its wall, this pot, however much space it requires to be, is called pot space. In simple words, the space occupied by the pot, along with its wall, is called pot space. All right. So, you understood now. Now, I told you that why it is involved is because of this. <laughs> And as as if this is not enough. So, there is a tip and also on that. थोड़ा फाइटिंग हो जाता है 
ಘಟಾತ್ ಬಹಿ ಸ್ಥಿತ ಆಕಾಶ ಮಹಾಕಾಶ ತಸ್ಮತ್ ಭಿನ್ನ ಘಟಾಂತರವರ್ತಿ ಆಕಾಶ ಘಟಾಕಾಶ ಪ್ರಸಿದ್ಧಿ ನನ್ನ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಆಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಇಸೇಸ್ ಆಕಾಶ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ಸ್ಥಿತ ಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ ಘಟಾತ್ ಬಹಿ ಔಟ್ ಸೈಡ್ ದ ಪಾಟ್ ದೇಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ ಔಟ್ ಸೈಡ್ ದ ಪಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಮಹಾಕಾಶ ಔಟ್ ಸೈಡ್ ದ ಪಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಮಹಾಕಾಶ ಇಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಟೋಟಲ್ ಸ್ಪೇಸ್ ತಸ್ಮತ್ ಭಿನ್ನ ಡಿಫ್ರೆಂಟ್ ಫ್ರಾಮ್ ದ ಟೋಟಲ್ ಸ್ಪೇಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಘಟವರ್ತಿ ಅಂತರ ಘಟವರ್ ಘಟಾಂತರವರ್ತಿ ಆಕಾಶ ಸೊ ಮಹಾಕಾಶ ಈಸ್ ಔಟ್ ಸೈಡ್ ದ ಪಾಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದಿ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಪಾಟ್ ಸ್ಪೇಸ್ ದಿ ಸ್ಪೇಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ಈಸ್ ಇನ್ ಸೈಡ್ ದ ಪಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ ಘಟಾಕಾಶ ಸೊ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಘಟಾಕಾಶ ಪ್ರಸಿದ್ಧಿ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಅ ಪ್ರಸಿದ್ಧಿ ವೆಲ್ ನೋನ್ ನೆಸ್ ಈಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ವೇ ದಟ್ ದ ಸ್ಪೇಸ್ ಇನ್ ಸೈಡ್ ದ ಪಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ ಘಟಾಕಾಶ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಹೌ ವಿ ಯೂಸ್ ಟು ಸೇವ್ ಎವ್ರಿ ಟೈಮ್ ಸಿ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದರ್ ಇನ್ ಸೈಡ್ ದಿಸ್ ಪಾಟ್ ದಟ್ ಸ್ಪೇಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ ಪಾಟ್ ಸ್ಪೇಸ್ ಸೊ ಇಸ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಹೌ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ವೆಲ್ ನೋನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಎನಿಥಿಂಗ್ ಔಟ್ ಸೈಡ್ ದಿಸ್ ಪಾಟ್ ಸ್ಪೇಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಮಹಾಕಾಶ ಸೊ ದ ಸ್ಪೇಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ಈಸ್ ಔಟ್ ಸೈಡ್ ದ ಪಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಮಹಾಕಾಶ ದ ಸ್ಪೇಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ಈಸ್ ಇನ್ ಸೈಡ್ ದ ಪಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ ಘಟಾಕಾಶ ದ ಸ್ಪೇಸ್ ಔಟ್ ಸೈಡ್ ಈಸ್ ಮಹಾಕಾಶ ದ ಸ್ಪೇಸ್ ಇನ್ ಸೈಡ್ ಈಸ್ ಘಟಾಕಾಶ ಸಿಂಪಲ್ ವಾಸ್ ದರ್ ಇಸ್ ಎ ತತ್ರ ದಟ್ ಬೀನ್ ಸೊ ಘಟಾಕಾಶ ಪ್ರಸಿದ್ಧ ಲಕ್ಷಣ ವಿಹಾಯ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಸಿಂಪಲ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ ವಾಸ್ ದರ್ ಇನ್ ಸೈಡ್ ಈಸ್ ಘಟಾಕಾಶ ಔಟ್ ಸೈಡ್ ಈಸ್ ಮಹಾಕಾಶ ಸಚ್ ಎ ಸಿಂಪಲ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ ಇಟ್ ವಾಸ್ ದರ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಘಟಾಕಾಶ ಪ್ರಸಿದ್ಧ ಲಕ್ಷಣ ವಿಹಾಯ ಹ್ಯಾವಿಂಗ್ ಗಿವನ್ ಅಪ್ ದಿ ವೆಲ್ ನೋನ್ ದಿ ಕ್ಯಾರೆಕ್ಟರಿಸ್ಟಿಕ್ ಆರ್ ಡೆಫಿನೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಪಾಟ್ ಸ್ಪೇಸ್ ಲಕ್ಷಣಾಂತರ ಕರಣೆ ಇನ್ ಮೇಕಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟಿಂಗ್ ಅದರ್ ಟೈಪ್ ಆಫ್ ಲಕ್ಷಣ ಡಿಫ್ರೆಂಟ್ ಲಕ್ಷಣ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಡಿಫ್ರೆಂಟ್ ಡೆಫಿನೇಷನ್ ಕಿಂ ಪ್ರಯೋಜನ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಪರ್ಪಸ್ ಇತಿ ಚೇತ್ ಇಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಡೌಟ್ ಸೊ ಸಂಬಡಿ ಸೈಡ್ ದ ವೆರಿ ಸಿಂಪಲ್ ಲಕ್ಷಣ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದಟ್ ಇನ್ ಸೈಡ್ ಪಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಪಾಟ್ ಸ್ಪೇಸ್ ಔಟ್ ಸೈಡ್ ಇಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಟೋಟಲ್ ಸ್ಪೇಸ್ ನೌ ಯು ಆರ್ ಸೇಯಿಂಗ್ ವಾಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಸ್ಪೇಸ್ ಹೌ ಮಚ್ ಸ್ಪೇಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಸ್ಪೇಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಗಿವಿಂಗ್ ಟು ದ ಪಾಟ್ ಟು ರಿಮೇನ್ ಇನ್ ಸ್ಪೇಸ್ ದಟ್ ಮಚ್ ಸ್ಪೇಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಪಾಟ್ ಸ್ಪೇಸ್ ಇಸ್ಮೆ ಕಿತ್ನಿ ಬಾರ್ ಸ್ಪೇಸ್ 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 ಪೀಸ್ ಬೋಲ್ತೆ ಹೌ ಮೆನಿ ಟೈಮ್ಸ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಸೇಯಿಂಗ್ ಸ್ಪೇಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಸ್ಪೇಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಆಲ್ ದಿಸ್ ಸಚ್ ಎ ಸಿಂಪಲ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ ವಾಸ್ ದಟ್ why are you making it such a complicated thing so like train you can use the word train so you can say no no agni what is called <laughs> agni yantra something is there they have got a train big definition is there for railway station ah so agni ratha virama sthala that is called station <laughs> railway station what is it in a simple in a technical panditai ki muchade agni ratha virama sthala Technically, it is right. But if you tell Agni Ratha Viramastala, by the way, the train will go away. <laughs> but then ask him, what, what, what? It will go away. Therefore, don't use this. So, he said, what is the purpose of complicating the definition? Simple was that, so, Kim Prayojanam, what is the purpose of it? You know? Nothing should be done just for the heck of it. You know? There is some purpose of it. Iti chet, atra uchyate. In this regard, the following thing is told. What is told, we will see tomorrow. <laughs> Suspense, you know. Om Purnamada Purnamidam Purnat Purnamudachyate Purnasya Purnamadaya Purnameva Vashishyate Om Shanti 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 Harihi Om Shri Guru Bhyo Namah